Guys, do you have algae that looks like this? I think I may have the solution and the cause of what's doing it. So first of all, a little background story. This is our new setup tank that we've done. Um, it's a high-tech tank running CO2. We're fertilizing with APT1, which has potassium and traces including iron. I decided after I've set it up to add a UV sterilizer uh, just to run, see how it does, you know, and whatnot. Shortly after putting the UV sterilizer, I started getting algae that grows like this. Now, I've encountered that algae before, and I used to have it in a big discus tank, and I attribute it to a couple of different things. Uh, you know, nutrient imbalance, having the plants, uh, not enough CO2, heat, temperature, you name it. At one point, I had spoken to my friend Luis Navarro from Seachem, and he had said, look, you know, UV st uh, sterilizers can interact with the iron. And I remembered that in the back of my brain, but I really didn't process it. And I've been doing a lot of research and I found an article by Diane Wallstad written, oh gosh, like 30 years ago, where she found that UV light breaks the chelation uh, out surrounding iron, right? So most fertilizers use chelated iron, which kind of binds them and protects the iron so then the natural uh, bacteria and enzymes in the tank water will break down that barrier and plants can use the iron. But apparently by the UV sterilizer running while I'm fertilizing creates, uh, strips away that chelation so the iron becomes readily available. And single cell uh, organisms like algae are much faster to respond and can use up free-floating nutrients way faster than plants can. So what I think is happening is that we are, as we're dosing, it's going through the UV. The UV is stripping away that protection of the iron. That iron becomes a free uh, meal and the algae is just completely going at it. So part of the process is going to be using APT Fix, which we're turning off the pumps and dosing it um, by hand along it, letting it sit for 15 minutes. And I am now turning off the UV sterilizer. I have to get another power brick for my Apex controller because I only have a four one. I don't have enough slots for it. So I'm gonna leave the UV sterilizer off until I can put it on a timer. So that way I can run it, say it from midnight to about I don't know, eight o'clock in the morning. My fertilization starts around nine on the dosers, so we'll be good then. Uh, but for right now, the UV is gonna get turned off just to make sure that we don't continue propagating this. I'm not gonna say that this is the cause on everyone's tanks because not everybody runs a UV sterilizer. But that same type of algae can be caused by overdosing uh, iron-rich fertilizers that sometimes may have too much uh, iron in there and not enough of your macronutrients. So if you recall back on your fertilization, plants always uh, revolve around limiting nutrients. So look back at your low-tech, non-CO2, non-UV sterilizer tanks. If all you're dosing is API leaf zone or Seachem Flourish, which are heavy iron, but they don't have anything in the way of NPK, nitrogen, phosphate, potassium, once your plants use up all the available nitrate, phosphate, and potassium in the tank, that iron will start building up into your tank and now becomes bioavailable for the algae. So be mindful of what you're dosing into your tanks. Some of these box store fertilizers are just trace elements with heavy iron and a lot of water. Uh, they're not really su uh, supplying any of the other fertilization. So. Uh, fertilization is something that can be easy. It's not that difficult, but you have to pay attention, right? Uh, treat it no different than you would treat your uh, body. So with that, if you have that, uh, that long filamentous, like a uh, very scraggly long beard attaching to the edges of leaves or to wood or to your decorations, check your iron source. Where's your iron? You could also have an issue with your water, right? You could have a lot of iron in your water and if you're not dosing your MPK, nitrogen, phosphate, potassium, uh, then you're gonna have that buildup as well, especially folks that use well water. 
Uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll link up some of my videos to the 90 days to fertilization and how to take care of your plants. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.